In the West, the war continues mercilessly. Even death has exhausted in the face of the millions dead. Ever more people want peace, only the rulers do not. The German author Irmgard Coyne has a schoolgirl write to the Kaiser. And I shall tell the Kaiser that I have been talking to lots of clever grown-ups and they all think that peace would be much nicer than the war. I'll say, I am sure that being an emperor he would like to know this sort of thing. But naturally, he has to stay in his castle and govern. Whereas I can walk around and listen to what people are saying. And the best thing for him to do would be to abdicate. In November 1918, the time has come. A wave of revolution sweeps the rulers away. Germany becomes a republic with a new banner and anthem, and the war is finally at an end. In Vienna too, a new era begins. Austrian writer Stefan Zweig witnesses the end of the monarchy. Emperor Franz Josef died in 1916. His successor, Karl I, must abdicate only two years later. The Kaiser. From earliest childhood, we had learned to pronounce those words reverently, for they embodied all of power and wealth and symbolized Austria's imperishability. And now I saw his heir, the last emperor banished from his country. All of those who stood about sensed history, world history in this tragic sight. It was the moment in which the almost millenary monarchy really ended. 